Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm really excited. Number one, because of the weather. It's like the first 70 degree day here in 2019 in Michigan. It's t-shirt weather, sunglasses weather. So today is a perfect day to show you this product right here. The item inside here is the 40 volt PowerShot portable power cleaner. So what I'm gonna do is quickly unbox it and then I have a series of tests. I'm gonna show you how this works for the first time. So if you're considering purchasing this, hopefully I will cover all the bases and all the tests that you'll wanna see and if this is right for you. So let's get to the unboxing. This is a complete kit right here, the power cleaner itself, everything you need. They do offer a couple optional accessories. I'm gonna show you how these work as well. This is the HydroShot 13 and a half ounce soap mixture container. They also have the optional turbo nozzle, the WA4037. We're gonna see how that works too. All right, so let's take a look inside the box here. HydroShot water gun itself. There's a little bit of weight to this. This overall is 3.7 pounds. Give you a close look at that. Has a high and a low right there. That's where the batteries connect. Looks like a uh, trigger release. And then, a, then if you can see right here, that's a battery status indicator. And then it has this 20 foot hose right here. It looks like it has a filter on it. This looks like some type of float ball. And this looks like it clips onto the bucket. This end right here. Looks like a quick connect fitting for the bottom. This is, uh, I believe what they call the Lance. And it shows the filter screen maintenance. So you unscrew this right here and it looks like there's a screen inside of this under there. So then it has this garden hose adapter. And this is the end right here. It has zero degree, 15 degree, 25 degree, and 40 degree. Then it has two batteries, the WA375 battery. They're both 20 volt and they are two amp batteries. So I'm gonna, then it has a dual port charger. So I'm gonna plug this in. I'm gonna time it and see how long it takes. And I'll let you know. So now the batteries are charging. It looks like they both charge at the same time. I know some double chargers, they'll do one and then the other. But I'm thinking this will do them both at the same time, the best of my knowledge. And then after those are charged, we're gonna fill this up with water. So let's do this. Here we go. So it's been a little over an hour now. We're still waiting for the batteries to charge. And I'll just show you a quick list that I have of some things you can expect to see in this video, the tests I'm gonna put it through. What's cool is I discovered that the shop chair doubles as a whiteboard holder. Okay, let's take a closer look. What to expect. Let's make this quick so we can get to the action. I'll tell you how long it takes to charge both batteries. I will tell you how long the batteries last per charge. I'll tell you the time to siphon the water through the 20 foot hose as we test it out for the first time. I'll show you the time it takes to spray five gallons of water. I'll probably do that on the zero degree setting. You'll hear the noise level. I'll show you the high low settings and give you a power demonstration. And I'll give you a demonstration of the soap dispenser accessory. I'll show you how the turbo nozzle works. And then we'll just talk about storage when you're done with it. We'll see if I come up with anything else. All right, so let's get into this. The batteries are charged. Here we go. I have about four gallons of water in this bucket right here, and I'm ready to start for the first time. I connected both batteries, and you can check the status of each battery by pressing that button, which is cool. So that way you know if you have enough power to do a cleaning job if the batteries have been sitting around for a while. So I have the lance connected, the uh, adjustable end here. So I have it at zero. As I just read the instructions, they say to get the air out of the line, to put the nozzle end below your waist level and run this on high, so. Okay, that's high. And I made sure that inside the bucket, oh, there we go. They said it would take up to like 20 seconds, I believe. That was probably only like 10. All right, that's cool. <laughs> All right, that's zero with one hand here's 15 degrees there is a safety right there each time 15 here's 25 a wider pattern and 40 real wide 
So right away, I notice all the connections are nice and tight. There's no dripping. The noise level is probably just a little bit less than some other electric pressure washers that I have. One thing I want to mention in the terminology, this isn't referred to as a pressure washer. Electric pressure washer is usually around like 1800 to 2000 PSI, where this is going to be 450, but this is ultra portable. It's still going to be like five to six times more powerful than your garden hose alone. So if you're out somewhere and you have some of your own water that you can bring along, like in a five gallon bucket, some clean water, this is going to come in handy for that. When it comes to the battery charge time, it's going to be under two hours. It's probably somewhere like around an hour and 45, hour and 50 minutes is what I noticed. As I'm taking a look at the supply hose right here, it's a braided line. It's about 60 degrees out today and it definitely untangles pretty easy. And I'm glad to see that it's braided so it's not kinking anywhere and pinching the water from coming through. So it looks like it's going to wind up and unwind nice and easy. All right, when it comes to cleaning. That's the 40. I probably won't use that as much. That's really light. The 15. The 15 degree is where I'm expecting to use this the most. All right, let's try some of the accessories. The next accessory I'm gonna test out is the turbo nozzle. And if you're wondering about like any of the model numbers of these, I will have links down below to each item so you can check it out. If I forget something or there's something I'm not mentioning, ask me a question, I'll be happy to answer. One thing I'm noticing, I do like the location of this so you can just set that right on the bottom there when you're going and changing the tips. So I don't know if this, actually the turbo nozzle is meant for any other type brands of pressure washers. It does say on the instructions that it's meant for this, but I don't know if you can run it with like a gas one or not. So, so far it looks like we've only gone through a little over a half gallon. Here's the turbo nozzle. So I do want to mention this is a fixed turbo nozzle. I've run some other ones before where you can do a tighter or wider pattern. About a month ago, I was reading some reviews on the turbo nozzle and I was reading some comments from people They were saying that the HydroShot isn't powerful enough to run this. But I do want to clarify that this most recent version right here, running the twin 20 volt batteries, the WG644, this one definitely makes it spin, as you can see. All right, the next accessory is the soap dispenser, soap mixture container. I didn't see anything that really said like how much soap to use. I don't, I don't know if you put like full soap in there or like half soaps. I'm just gonna use this soap right here. It's some vehicle wash that I already have on hand. So I believe the vehicle wash here is a little more of a concentrate. So I'm just gonna use a partial amount and then let it mix, see how that works. If I need to fill it all the way up, then I'll do that. This is where it helps to read the instructions. I noticed that it doesn't connect here. You disconnect it down here. So when you look at that picture right there, you can see it connects right at the end. So you have a short version right here. All right, that looks like to install this, you push that in all the way and twist it like that. All right, let's see what we have going on with the foam. Oh man. All right, that's awesome. I have a really good test demonstration that I want to use the works HydroShot on. This is kind of embarrassing, <laughs> but the Cardinals have sat on the mirror up here and they tend to look at themselves. And then as you can see the mess that they've done here. So this, this is my work truck, so I don't drive it all the time. So sometimes it has sat for like a week before driving it or you have a chance to really clean it up. But today is like a perfect day to do the cleaning. So I'm going to spray this with the vehicle wash, the foam, and maybe do it a couple times. And, and then I'm gonna take an automotive microfiber sponge and then just go over that to help clean it up. And then I'm gonna rinse it off with the uh, probably, I don't know, 25 degree, is that it? The little bit wider pattern. So we'll see the before and the after. Hopefully it turns out well, because that's a mess. <laughs> All 
I always find the microfiber pad just gives you the extra deep cleaning. Make sure it's clean so you don't have any grit on there so you're doing any damage to your paint. We're on 40 degrees. Okay, looking good. Another test on the list is to see how long it takes to go through five gallons of water, leaving this thing wide open. And I'm gonna run it at zero degrees here. So I have my stopwatch ready to go. On your mark, set, go. <laughs> We're running out there, six and a half minutes. There, six and a half minutes for five gallons of water to go through. All right guys, so I think I had a chance to put this through all the paces. It definitely met my expectations, if not exceeded them. I'm very happy. There's one improvement you might be able to do yourself, or maybe I'll just mention it here. The end right here that goes in the bucket, it would be nice to have some type of weight on here so that stays at the bottom. This tends to want to float a little bit. There is this floater right here, and then there's a little clip. The clip doesn't stay on real well, so I went to like my own clamp. So uh, that's just a really very minor detail. Overall though, I'd say this thing worked really well. Oh, one other thing I wanna mention is how many gallons of water I went through on a single charge. So hang on a second for that. To the best of my knowledge, I believe I went through about 17 gallons on one charge. So if it's like six and a half minutes per five gallons, so I would say probably at least 20 minutes of cleaning, if not more. So my goal of this video is to help show you guys exactly how this works by putting it through all the tests. If there's somebody left out, please let me know. I'll be happy to respond. And if you find this video interesting or informative or helpful, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.